What's up, y'all? I am Fast Track. I'm the best Mamma Jamma who ever stood in front of a camera. And today, we are going to be watching a war between demigods. This is the death battle between Thor, the champion of Asgard, and the son of Odin, against Wonder Woman, the Amazon warrior princess and daughter of... Zeus? Yeah, Zeus. Oh, wait. Didn't Epic Rap Battle of History do a war between Zeus and Thor? <laughs> okay, so now it's the daughter of Zeus versus Thor. And again, he could have called off. Anyway, so now we're going to see which one of these heroes of the Marvel Universe or the DC Universe will win in a fight to the death. And, uh, of course, it's just to promote the uh, two movies. Wonder Woman movie, which already came out and I think is on DVD and Blu-ray. And Thor Ragnarok, which is coming out in theaters in about a month. <laughs> Dang. <sighs> Always just doing it for the money. Just doing it for, for the hype. Well, which one of these would win in a fight to the death? Well, Thor is the god of thunder, and he carries Mjolnir, and he has godlike strength, and and he's part of the Avengers. Wonder Woman is a member of the Justice League, in fact, one of the one of the first founders, and and while she does not match the strength of Superman, she does have the strength to move planets if she wants to. Ooh, this is gonna be oh, this is gonna be tough. Now, we got the God of Storms, and the Hero of the Amazons, and uh, she had a bombing movie, and Thor, yeah, it's an alright movie. But it's not based on popularity, it's based on pure strength, wit, skill, uh, weapons, armor, and skills to find out who they discover. You know the old jingle. Anyway, let's just get this over with so I can get back to making stuff. Anyway, so... Thor vs. Wonder Woman. Now, who am I going to put my money on? I'm gonna put it on... Thor. That's my final bet. I'm gonna put it on Thor. So, so I'm gonna put it on It's Hammer Time. <laughs> oh boy. Alright, people. Let's get right into it. Thor, you better come out of this, man. Because if you don't, I will not see your movie. I'm just kidding. I would, I would definitely see his movie. Here we go. Five, four, three, two, one, go. Death battle. Death battle. The different pantheons of gods and goddesses have always been rife with conflict. And these uh, heavenly course. wars can last for centuries. Like with Thor, War. Norse champion What's it really of good Asgard, for? and son of Odin, and Wonder Woman, Greek warrior the of the Norse Amazons, versus and the Amazons. Of Zeus. He's with an ambush or the Greeks. And it's our job to analyze their weapons. Why do the Norse and the Greeks have to fight, fight all the time? Who would win a death battle? This is the realm eternal, root of the world tree and noblest of the nine the dimensions. Of Asgard. Asgard. Lego protector for your butt. What? Asgard. Since ancient times, this colorful no. realm has been inhabited by warriors so powerful, many believe them to be immortal deities. And they sort of were, but being immortal in Asgard is a funny thing. See, every few thousand years, these fellas go through a little apocalyptic event where everybody dies. Then huh. they're born anew with only vague memories of their previous lives. Oh. This is the cataclysmic well, that's event known as terrible. Ragnarok. And Asgard's newest king, the All-Father Odin, was determined to break this cycle. So he fathered So the everyone just dies and just come back to life. Seen. This the kid. Not you, dummy. Thor spent most of his life living that around hair. people and defending his realm from its enemies. And he was good at it. Like really Chris Hemsworth. He's their tank and DPS all rolled into one when it comes to raiding other realms. Just like Roadhog. He looked the part. This guy is Chris Hemsworth. six inches of pure muscle. And Odin son. Led because he somehow weighs think. 640 pounds. Thor was trained by the best in Asgard and has proven his mettle across multiple Pet goats. worlds. He Once turned into a frog. Yes, I remember everything that. Everything from giants to demons to other gods. 
has a real like his brother. God, Thor is super strong, super fast, and super durable. And even on those the rare occasions when he does get Earth hurt, he patches up real quick can, with his healing all, factor. Can be understood and of course, being the god of thunder lets him control lightning and even the Earth itself. But Thor is yeah. complete without his iconic arsenal. He wears the belt Aww. of strength, which he puts his son already hammer to sleep. And he swings around the most awesome tiny little hammer you've ever seen. Mjolnir is Yeah, it? Mjolnir! Yes, I know how to pronounce it. It was forged by dwarves by harnessing a star. Its construction dwarves. was so intense, it caused the star to explode, and its fiery remains eradicated the dinosaurs. Talk about metal! Whoa! Speaking of metal, Mjolnir is forged from Uru, an extremely durable iron-like ore that is highly susceptible to enchantment. Mjolnir in particular is enchanted to house a cosmic storm. Oh, yeah! Black holes. And yes, the wielders of Mjolnir can access the storm's powers, including levitation and... Only if they were worthy. Never like Thor. So bad in my life. And Captain America. Unfortunately, Merkel. only those the hammer deems... So that's how you can spell it. Wield it. Or like even pick it up for that matter. You must be pure of heart right? and noble of mind, or else it won't even budge. Well, Double lucky sense. for Thor, he's worthy of adding Mjolnir's awesome power to his own. And with their powers of course. combined, nothing can stop him. Hammer time! Easily tagged Quicksilver, who at his best can run around 670 million miles per hour. And Thor can move even faster than that when his hammer is dragging him around. Yeah, that's a thing. Yeah. He can't really fly on his own in the same way people like Superman or Captain Marvel. Oh, no, that's a terrible Instead, way to fly. He literally chucks his hammer as hard as he can and hangs on for dear life as it takes him for a ride. Thor has said Mjolnir is fast enough to reach the edge of the universe in 60 seconds. This means it can travel at least 350 trillion miles per hour. Or over 500,000 times the speed of light. Whoa! Don't let go, Goldilocks. Hitting pavement at that speed might hurt even you. Yeah, he'd be fine. He can withstand a dip in the sun, where it can be over 27 million degrees Fahrenheit. Nice! Just like Superman. He survive a bomb capable of planet busting, equal to a force of over 53 quadrillion megatons of TNT. I'm more Damn! This giant ass snake! Look at that thing! The Midgard Serpent is massive, capable of wrapping around the entire Earth twice. It stretches nearly 900 miles wide and 50,000 miles long. By comparing it to the largest living snakes, the 550-pound green anaconda, we can estimate... My anaconda don't about want none unless you got ton. buns, huh? Hold on, Wiz. I know my snakes, and it looks like that Midgard Serpent is actually constricting the Earth. By squeezing prey, a snake can apply pressure 16 times its normal weight. So Thor didn't just lift a really heavy snake, he outmatched 272 trillion tons of force. Boomstick did math? Uh, that is correct, Boomstick. Goddamn right it is. It is important to Wow, he knows his snakes. The evil power Thor possesses. So much so that in fights with other godly beings, whole worlds can shatter. If it ever comes to it, he can nice. even enter a state of warrior's madness. While he loses some control doing this, his power increases tenfold. Why did we put this guy up against Raiden again? Well, Thor's cocky attitude has put him in all kinds of trouble. You're right, even Thor versus Raiden. Power more than once as a result. Yeah, the hammer isn't invulnerable, and if Thor's holding on to it, its enchantment can even be tricked. Like that one time the Hulk used his own hammer against him by moving his arm. Why are you hitting ha! yourself? So Why are you hitting yourself? For a lesson in humility, Odin banished him to Earth, transforming him into a handicapped human. You call that a handicap? That's a limp. I'm over here with a freaking shotgun for a leg, and I'm not even allowed to park in those special parking spaces. He has a shotgun for a leg? Still, it turns out really? sending Thor to Earth was all part of Odin's plan to alter the cycle of Ragnarok, as such a thing had oh. never been done before. And it worked. 4,000 years after the previous Ragnarok, Armageddon was stopped for good, and the gods were free. All thanks to Thor. And nice. the giant time traveling floating sentient eyeball, but mostly Thor. Uh, stuff eyeballs. I accept your surrender. <laughs> oh! Hammer time. Legend has it that lost among the waves sits a solitary island called Themyscira, shrouded in secrecy and inhabited solely by. Why can't we ever pr hey, Will, spell these this things? This my new number one vacation spot. Hello. Oh, nurse!
Despite their paradise yes, isle far Take from civilization, there. the women of Themyscira are more dangerous than you'd think. They are Amazons. What woman the isn't dangerous? Created by the Olympian gods. Their mission? To spread the peace and justice of the gods to a barbarian world. And ship anything to you for free within two days. If you pay an annual fee. But a bunch of centuries... Wrong kind of Amazon. Out of the loop. These but still pretty good. Never even heard of shotguns before. Until the Ooh. day a military plane crashed near the island. Determined to reconnect with the world and establish peace once again, the Amazons held a tournament to select a representative. Oh, I saw that movie. It was pretty good, actually. To block a bullet from just a couple yards away. Damn, they don't mess around. Where did they even get a gun? Was one of their youngest, a brave woman known simply as Diana. And that's how she became the Wonder Woman. One woman, one woman, all the world is waiting for you. The Palatine Zeus has defeated Superman and Batman, ran for president twice. Wouldn't she need to be American born? Her Amazon physiology grants her super strength, super speed, heightened wisdom, and the ability to heal from most wounds almost instantly. And she can fly just like Superman. How else do you think she'd get around? An invisible jet? That's stupid. How do you even remember where you parked it? Why would you need an invisible jet? Deadliness, but okay. She carries a rather unique arsenal, among which are her iconic bracelets of. Oh uh, yeah. Uh, that movie was that okay. Sounds like some weird BDSM shit. Well, they kind of were, but the universe has been reset. Wait, 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 Forged by the smith god Hephaestus using the remains of Zeus's legendary Aegis shield, the bracelets are impervious to nice. anything, including gunfire, demon lightning, and Kryptonian heat vision, which can be hotter than the sun. They can summon Zeus's lightning or even the indestructible Aegis they were made from. Ooh. To avoid collateral damage, the bracelets also suppress nice bracelets. I should get into strength, bracelet fashion. Them off vastly increases her godly power. Oh, and she can use Whoa. them to summon weapons like her magic sword. Also forged by Hephaestus, Say this what? sword's edge is so you can pull sharp a sword that it can slice through microscopic atoms. This means a precision strike from Wonder Woman can cut through nearly any material. Man, this is best to really? get to make some top-notch stuff. Wonder if he does commission. Nice. Well, he's not responsible I'd like a for shame from that. final weapon, the Lasso of Truth. This unbreakable whip has the power to make anybody it touches tell the truth. Bad news for any cheating boyfriends she might have. What that is why I respect women. God, your daughter's got a nice rack. Shall I kill him now, my queen? Oh! Of course, she doesn't need weapons to prove her awesome combat skills. According to Batman, that's a bad Amanda truth to say. The greatest melee fighter in the world, which is no small feat in a universe with people like Karate Kid, Deathstroke, and Batman himself. Did you say the Karate Kid? Man, Daniel Sons really moved up in the world. The point is, one wrong woman Karate is a Kid, master martial artist who's trained all her life. And while she has no official birth date, we do know she was born during the age of the Roman Empire, specifically when they employed centurions. Including the additional time she spent fighting Ooh, the Hunter before people. going back in time, this means Wonder Woman must be about 3,000 years old. Oh, things considered, she looks Damn, she ages her, gracefully. And that's more than enough time to become a master ass-kicker. It also helps that she's pretty darn quick. She's kept pace with Superman and defeated the speedster Professor Zoom. Well, blind. At one point, Wonder Woman was battling an ancient god who had fragmented himself into trillions of pieces, each spread to different corners of the universe. And while he summoned yeah. his pieces back at faster than light speed, Wonder Woman was able to stand in his way and block all of them. Wow! I mean, she's moving so fast, there's like a bunch of her. Moving thousands of times the speed of light can do that. In fact, she's moving so fast, she's probably breaking all manners of quantum physics. She's also Physics? What's that? She punched Doomsday into literal dust and helped pull the Earth around. The force needed yep, to move an object that. out of the sun's orbit equals around one thousandth of the object's mass, including the Earth itself. Assuming Wonder Woman was pulling her fair share, this means she can lift 2.2 2 quintillion tons. Huh. And Grandpa, Broken Fortress of Solitude, tank the nuclear six. warhead, help move the Earth, survive the Arctic Black here. Hole, held back Super Duke, listed multiple explosions, block pieces of the Shattered oh, God, defeat yeah. Eris, Zoom, Mongol, and Supergirl. And then one day, Superman, who could see atoms, decided to split one to test her magic sword. Surprise, surprise, it literally blew up in their faces. 
Waggy antics. Damn! It was her fight with Zoom, in which she took several light speed punches, which, according to her fellow Justice League member, The Flash, hit like a white dwarf star. That would equal two billion megatons of force. Unfortunately, what Damn! She's got her own kryptonite, and it's a lot more common than radioactive alien rugs. Her durability holds up well against almost everything, except for piercing weapons. Which just seems like an unacceptable weakness when really? that strong. Knives, swords, spears, any kind of blade will do the trick. But especially bullets, which is probably why she's gotten so good at blocking them with those bracelets. Unfortunately, so, swordsmen and sharpshooters, a knife or a bullet doesn't go down easily. But a hammer. In fact, a good stabbing is more than that's likely just more like a blunt off. object. And that's when you learn just how dangerous Wonder Woman can really be. Wonder Woman. Wonder Woman. All right, the Thor. Are set. Pull out, man. I'm going. All. I'm rooting for you. But first, all this talk of godly people makes me want some godly food. Dang advertisement. Let me guess. Blue Apron. Yeah. Over the past five years, Blue Apron has okay. created over 1,000 recipes. This October, I'm still Blue going Apron for Thor because anniversary by bringing back its top 20 he recipes has more weapons than years. just his All hammer. By you, the Blue Apron community. He's Keeping fast, fresh, though with his hammer, he's recipes, a lot more faster. Year, which makes this limited time offer something now, special. Blue oh my god, I hate when they put person, which is some physics that are impossible into these kind of battles because it's hard to it's know which is which and so much math. As you learn how to cook each new dish. Every meal comes with Whoa. an easy to follow recipe anybody can okay. follow to whip up your new favorite meal. That is Save not you how you're supposed to cook. cook. Where are those carrot slices going right into? Now. They're just Check going on the ground. Menu and get $30 off your first meal with free shipping by going to blueapron.com slash battle. Dude, I know you're trying to have fun, but you can be professional. create incredible home cooked meals with blue apron. Oh, wait, your favorite blue apron nah. recipes are back on the menu. That's blueapron.com slash battle. Blue apron, a better way to cook. But right now, it's time for a death battle. Take a shot every time I say hammer time. <laughs> Diana, training as always. What's this? A man on our island? Blasphemy! That again has happened more than once. You're not Chris Hemsworth. You, no man can enter the Mascara unannounced. Stand down, wayward maiden. This sort of thing never turns out well for women like yourself. Oh, that's sexist. Oh. Or I have. If you die, I, I will not think respect you. Ever known a woman like me. No man has ever known a woman like her. Except for Superman, Batman, uh, that one guy from World War II. Oh! Shields down! Incredible. I have a feeling Thor is just going to break the entire island just for the fun of it. Oh, well, there goes the mountain. Hammer time! Take a sip. <laughs> and she just broke part of the mountain. Oh! Double sword. Slash and thrash, girl. Slash and thrash. You missed. Oh, never mind. Now they're in space! Oh, wait, are, are they on the moon? No, it, it's... Yeah, it's the moon. They're on the moon. You just blew up the moon! Dude, you just blew up the moon! Never shall the gods of 
Oh, this is intense! I love it! Thor! Don't give up, man! I'll kill you! I'll kill you dead! Excuse me? I'll kill you dead? Oh, he's in rage! Broke her leg! Oh! Oh! Pam! Tom, bitch! What? Why are you hitting yourself? Oh! You're not worthy. <gasps> Fire! No! Kyle! Whoa! No, no Wendy! Looks like somebody's been watching too much Game of Thrones. Thor and Wonder Woman matched each other in some surprising ways. Their weapons were oh! painted, their years of experience were similar, and even their super modes did almost the same sort of thing. Sorry, Luckily, uh, had a little camera work, but... Thor! Speed. Sure, Thor's fast enough to tag Quicksilver, and his travel speed with Mjolnir is just stupid fast. But yeah. Wonder Woman's shown that she's even more stupid fast in combat over and over again. Such as when she blocked trillions of god shards flying at her from the edges of the universe. Most Yikes. likely faster than any speed Mjolnir was capable of. She was even able to catch Zoom in her lasso, despite how he wasn't just running ahead of her in physical space, but he was also ahead of her in time. Wrap your noggin around that one. Thor's um, power was greater than Wonder okay. Woman's, but the difference in strength was a different story. In fact, when comparing their earth and snake feats, she was 8,000 times stronger than him. But the final nail in Thor's back was their choice of weaponry. Mjolnir may have been tough for Diana to defend against, but it couldn't exploit her weakness to piercing weapons. Meanwhile, Diana's magic sword right, could slice he has a sword, right? level. Something Thor couldn't possibly be prepared to defend against. You can have skin so tough that you can take a bath in the sun no problem, but it won't do a damn thing to a blade that can literally sever your atoms. Ultimately, Yikes. while their talents were evenly matched, Diana's speed, strength, and weaponry proved too much for Thor Odinson. Yep, he was done, Thor. The winner Boom. is Wonder Woman. Very well, Diana. Stick around, we're about to announce the combatants for the, the Amazon Princess episode. beat Mr. Hammer time. On this episode, click that little box over there and Let's see who's next. Trial. Try to grab one of these shirts, too. This better wow me. Ketsuya Tisho! Naruto versus Ichigo. Oh, we're finally doing Naruto. I have no idea who Ichigo is, but uh, anyway. <laughs> Hammer time! Hammer time! Hammer time! I, 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 don't, I, don't, I don't get it, but, but, but the hammer time. I mean, I mean, it's, it's Wonder Woman and all the world is waiting for her, but ah! Uh, but, uh, yeah, this was a really, really great battle. I mean, oh my god, the visuals were intense. They they went from from Themyscira, oh, they destroyed mountains and probably Themyscira itself, and then they destroyed the moon, and Thor was all, I'll kill you to death. Uh, that doesn't make sense, but it was funny. It, it was definitely funny. And uh, then there was kind of but then... But then Wonder Woman was all like, ah, hell no, bitch, and uh, take a, take a, wow. I can't believe I'm saying this, but Thor literally choked on a sword. Ladies, you know what that means. And men. But, uh, oh. Yeah, I, uh, okay. Bravo, Wonder Woman. Bravo. I'm sorry, Thor. I really did root for you. I did root for you, Thor. Oh well, I, I guess, uh, I guess the Greeks have beat the Norse. Yeah, I'm sorry. Uh, on the bright side, you will be ushered into Valhalla with all your other Viking friends. Hopefully, maybe. Okay, so we have our next battle, which is Naruto versus Ichigo. Ichiro. I, I, I don't know. Maybe I'll watch it. Hopefully. Maybe. Yeah. Oh boy. Naruto, I haven't seen that in a while. 
But uh, yeah, this was a great death battle. I especially love the action and the use of the CGI. Oh boy. Bravo, Screw Attack. You have amazed me yet again. Thor, may you rest in Valhalla up there with Odin and Loki and Torbjorn. Guess that'll be it for me, people. I'm gonna... I'm gonna set this Viking ship ablaze so I could celebrate the loss of a great hero and also the one win of a great heroine. I would totally vote for her for, to be president. Unlike the oversized Oompa Loompa that is in office. Till next time, people. I'm Fast Track. I'm the best man in Jamma. Whoever stood in front of the camera. I'll be back in the flash.